In this video, I want to show you how to set up rules in Microsoft Outlook to automatically handle your emails. So let's say every time I get an email from the sender, then I want it to go to a certain folder automatically. Uh, I want it to go to the folder that's called From Tom. Of course, I could just pick up that email and drag it over. But a rule is going to handle that uh, email automatically. So let me show you a couple quick ways to set up the rules. First of all, if you get the email from that person or with a certain subject or something like that, you can just right click on that email. So let's do it that way first. I'm going to right click on that email. And then over here, it says the word rules. And I'm going to pick on the word create rule. A new screen will come up. Now, this is the quick and easy way to set up a rule. When we do it uh, in a different way, you'll see a lot more choices. So let's say if it's from that sender, all right, or you can also have a, if the subject contains a certain word or if it's sent to uh, me only or you have some different choices there, then you can display that in a new alert window. You can play a selected sound or I'm going to move it to a folder. Now, like I said, when we do a rule in a different way, you'll have a lot more choices, but this is the quick and easy way to set up the rule. So we're going to say if it's from that sender, then we're going to send it to the folder and I'm going to choose the folder that's called, uh, I can pick on select a folder here and I'll pick on the one that's called from Tom and I'll pick on OK. Good. Uh, now, um, even from this window, I could go to the advanced options and we'll see the advanced options pretty soon. But I'm going to keep, keep this one nice and easy. I'll pick on OK. And now I'm going to say run this rule uh, on messages already on the folder. So I'm going to click on that checkbox. Now, when I click on OK, this message is going to move from the inbox and you'll see it come over here in the from Tom folder. So I'll click on OK. Notice how that message is no longer in the inbox. And now we can see how it's going to be in the from Tom folder. As you can see. All right. Uh, so now every time I get an email from that sender, it'll go right to the from Tom folder. Now, if you notice right now, the from Tom folder has three messages. All right. So I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and send another email. Basically, the sender is me on my other email address. So I'm going to go ahead and send that email again. Now, what should happen is it should actually bypass the inbox. And then uh, in a minute, we should see a new message in the from Tom folder when my email actually refreshes. So what I can do is I can pick on um, send and receive. Oh, notice how it came over. So if I go to the from Tom folder, notice now it has four messages. So it got the new one as well. All right. So it bypassed the inbox and it went right to that folder because of that message, uh, because of the rule. So one way to make a rule is to right click on an email and you pick in the word rules and you pick in the word create rule. Now let's see the more advanced way to make a rule. Uh, I'm going to pick on the, uh, you're in the inbox within your outlook and I'll pick on the home menu. By the way, this is a, we're looking at outlook 2016, which is the, the most recent version as of this recording. Then on the home menu, I'm going to come over here and pick on the pull down where it says rules. And I want to create a new rule from here. Now you can also manage the rules as you can see. In fact, I'm going to go over to where it says manage rules and we'll see the one that I just made. Now I want to recreate that one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick on that one and pick on delete so I can recreate it with the more advanced options. Uh, so yes to delete that. Now I'm going to send another email from that uh, from that same sender so it'll be something in my that it'll be something in my inbox
So we'll give it a second. Now the rule is no longer there. So the email that comes from that sender should now be in the inbox as you can see. Okay, good. So now at this point, let me show you the more complicated way to make a rule. I'll pick on the home menu and I'll pick on uh, the word rules. This time I'll pick on create rule. Now, when we do it this way, it's automatically going to go into the more advanced options. Uh, or if it doesn't, I can pick in the word advanced options right there. So let's go into the advanced options. Sometimes the advanced options do come up automatically, but in this case, I'll pick in the word advanced options here. Notice now you have a lot more choices. I can still say from a certain sender or uh, notice how I can, you know, have a lot more choices here sent to with in the subject or body uh, through a specified account marked as important so now you have a lot more choices to filter out the uh, the emails as you can see now I'm gonna say from that sender once again now on this screen I can actually click down here and pick a different sender uh, if I chose that then uh, it would probably open up my contact list uh, in this case okay so this like i said on this screen you'll be able to go a lot further so i'll say from that sender but of course you have a lot more choices there as well i'll pick on next so that first screen is filtering out the messages what messages do you want to filter out with the rule i'll pick on next now this next screen is about the action that you want to take. Notice now you have a lot more actions. I can move it to a folder, I can assign it to a category, I can delete it. Now permanently delete it, it means it, it won't even go into the, um, into the deleted items folder. It'll just, it'll just be deleted permanently. Uh, I can move a copy to the specified folder. That means it's going to keep it in the inbox and also uh, put it in that folder. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so this way it won't bypass the inbox. It'll automatically be in that folder, but it'll also be my inbox so I can process that as well. I can forward it uh, so I can reply using a certain uh, message. I can flag a, a flag a message for a follow up. So these are all the actions and you can do a lot more as you can see. Now I'm going to say move a copy to a specified folder. Now, you'll have to come down here and pick the folder that you want to move it to. So I'll pick on the word specified, and then I'll pick on the from Tom folder. All right, so sometimes down here, um, those choices will be important when you do it this way. So this screen is all about the actions you can take with those emails. I'll pick on next. And then you can even have exceptions. So you can say, except if the subject contains certain words, uh, except if it was sent only to me. And you have lots of exceptions, as you can see, when you do it with the more advanced options. So you should go through that list and check out the exceptions and see which ones might be important for you, except if it's marked important and so on. All right, so I'll pick on next. You give the rule a name, right? And I'm going to turn the rule on. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and run this rule for messages that are already in the inbox. This way, it'll handle the ones that are already in the inbox that meet the criteria. Now, what should happen this time is that message should stay in the inbox. And now the folder that says from Tom, uh, that should have more messages in, the, in there now after this. So I'll pick on the word finish. And it ran that rule. Notice how the from Tom now has um, uh, a new message uh, because the rule worked. Now, every time that we get an email from that person, let's see what's going to happen. Let me make a new one. And this time, the message will stay, uh, will come into the inbox. And then also watch the folder that's called from Tom. That should have the number three. In just a second as well. Notice how the message came in. Actually, I did two messages and they both stayed in the inbox and they also got moved to that folder automatically as well. So, a couple good ways to set up a rule here. First of all, you can right click on an email and you can pick on the word rule and then you pick on the word create rule and it'll inherit the, um, the specifics of that, e of that email 
and that's the quick way to do it. Another way to do it is to pick on the home menu and you pick on the word rules and you pick on the word create rule here. Now, when we do it that way, you would still pick on the advanced options. But let me show you one more way to make a rule. You pick on the home menu, you pick on the word rules and you go to manage rules and alerts. Now you'll see all the rules that you've uh, made and you can uh, delete them or change them. But in this case, if I pick on new rule from this screen, then it's going to go into the more advanced options right away, as we can see. So in this case, I'll move it to a folder, for example, and then right away it goes into the more advanced options. So I really like the rules. They help you automatically uh, manage your emails and it, they're going to save you a lot of time. And that's how you set up a rule in Outlook 2016.